To be honest, I've, I've tried filming this video probably like 50 times now. And, uh, you know, I've, I've deleted them because, you know, I'm, I'm not really making sense or I just, I'm at a loss for words and I don't know what to say or, you know, I talk too much or whatever, it, whatever it is. I just, um, you know, in all honesty, I'm just. I'm speechless and can't really make sense of the situation, so I'm trying my best. And now the sun's going down. Um, for a while, I didn't want to make a video because I didn't want it to be true. Um, I didn't want to let myself believe that it was it was real. But mm, there's really no planning for what could have happened. Um, my best friend, my brother, Corey James Berry, was tragically taken away from us. At a really young age of 25, he was in a uh, fatal drunk driving accident and he passed away on his birthday, May 10th. He was 25 years old. He was my best friend. He was my brother. You know, he was, he was everything to me. I literally could not have asked for a better friend. I could not have asked for a better, you know, person to put myself around, he was just it's like radiated positive, good energy, you know. At times all of his friends would give him, you know, a hard time for being grumpy Cory or you know, sassy Cory, because he could give you he can give you some tood. But uh overall that kid was just a bundle of joy. He was, he literally had like the best heart in the world. He was the biggest sweetheart and Man, I don't know. Um, like I said, I filmed this video like 50 times and the first one I just could not stop crying or I just you know, started going off on random tangents and I found myself lost in thought and lost in like word, word vomit. I don't know, I just... I'm really struggling over here to kind of make sense of it all, and I'm I'm sure, um, you know, I speak for myself, but I'm I'm sure I speak for many others that uh, Corey knew and and loved Corey and were close to Corey. But it's just it's hard. It's uh, it's very difficult. It's a very difficult time, and I don't know, it just kind of flipped our our lives, flipped our world upside down. A complete 180 overnight. Um, and it, honestly, it's it's only been a couple days and, you know, it hasn't changed. I don't think it's going to change for a while, but that's why I wanted to kind of hop on here and talk for a little bit. Great, the sun's going down and it's making me look all dark. Um, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and kind of talk to you guys and, I don't know, just literally just talk. It makes me feel better. Since May 10th, um, I've had a lot of time to talk to his family and talk to the people he was close with. You know, we kind of all just find any reason to connect and be with each other and it's super, super, super helpful. Anytime we get together we just like go off, go off on like how funny Corey was or 
how awesome he was and how much of a good friend he was and it's really helpful. Dude, Corey had so many fucking people that loved him. Corey had so many people that Corey had so many people that like needed him. I don't want this to be another I don't want I don't want it to be a sad video, so I'm gonna try not to cry, but uh yeah, Corey had uh Corey had so many people that loved him and so many people that cherished every moment with him and you know I consider myself one of his best friends, but I know that kid had like fucking fifty. The kid had like so many best friends that you almost felt you almost felt like unspecial because he was best friends with so many people, but you know, that's just the way Corey was, and Corey was just a huge sweetheart and a huge teddy bear, and his fucking personality was so infectious. And... <sighs> just gonna get away from him. He was that good of a kid. He was that good of a person. He, he just never could do you wrong. You know what I mean? He's like. I feel like I'm like going in circles, but um, like I said, I just I just want to hop on here and talk because it makes me feel better. And I just want to kind of say whatever I can, say whatever makes sense. Um, like I was saying, he you know he had so many people that loved him, and it's it's super helpful to kind of get together right now and talk to each other um, because you know sitting alone <sighs> sitting alone oh, I sound like an idiot <clears throat> sitting alone is super hard being alone Makes you think about it a lot. <laughs> but being with this you know, family and being with all the friends that know him, super uplifting because we get to tell stories that, that make us happy. Get to tell stories and like you get to hear people's, um, you get to hear what like memories people have created with him and you get to like kind of. Compare them to what memories you have with him, and they all sound so similar. Like I can say, you know, me and Corey, you know, I can say, me and Corey did this, and then someone would be like, oh, me and Corey did this. And someone else would be like, oh, me and Corey did this, and we did that too, but we also did, I don't know, it's just like, so many people have like, such similar things. And it's just a bunch of like, little ties. I don't know if that makes any sense, but. It just kind of proves to me how much like, how much everyone loves him, because I can't explain explain how much I love that kid and to hear everybody else have like the same memories with him can only make me think how much they you know what I mean I don't I don't even know what I'm saying um wow I feel like every time I film, I film this, I've just cried. There's no, uh, there's no way around it. I've pretty much given up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, also being with his family is is super, super, super helpful. His dad is, dad is literally Corey, just an older version and you know, different colored hair. And being around his brother Jared is just so, it's so like. 
fulfilling. Being with his mom and his sister, you know, they flew out from Australia. You know, if Corey was sitting right next to me, he'd probably make fun of me for saying Australia. Like that, because every time he said it, he would say it without the A, because that's how Australians say it. He'd say, it's Australia. I don't know. It's just, it just feels so good and warm to be with everyone that he loved. It's, it's almost like he's there with us. Um, like when we talk about him, it's almost like he's like right next to you laughing. And until you look over and you don't see him, you know, then you notice that he's not there. But like when you're with all of his friends and his family, you can kind of like feel his presence. It's super, super sweet and uh, helpful. You know, it makes me, makes me feel like he's still right there with me. And, uh, you know, I can see pictures online. I can see videos online. I actually just posted one on my Instagram. And uh, it was a video of us hugging. It's just weird because, like, the, the more you see that, and the more you, like, look at a picture or you look at a video, you can, like, you can almost feel it. It's so weird. I almost, like, smell him. I just can't believe he's gone, dude. You know, life hasn't been the same without my best friend. Life has not been the same since since May 10th. Um, I don't think it'll ever be the same because you know a piece of me is missing and a piece of so many other people is missing. And you know, I think from here we just got to remember. Remember Corey in a positive way and remember him in like a loving and happy way. And I feel like that's going to help us, help us kind of guide us in the right direction to kind of like feel better a little bit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what to say. Now is the point where I usually just, I'm so dark again. Now is the point where I kind of just like, I don't even know where I am. From where I started at the video, I don't even know what I'm talking about now. I feel like I, I just talk in circles. Um, this is super weird, like no cut, super raw video I, I I don't know I literally feel I don't know what I'm talking I don't know what I'm talking about this is so strange <sighs> um <sighs> Corey um, I love you buddy I miss you an unbelievable amount. Um, I thought about this the other day. You know, so many people say like, "Oh, I'd give anything to do this." You know, I'd you know I'd give anything to do this, or I'd you know I'd kill to blah 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 or whatever. But there is literally not one thing in this world that I wouldn't do to get you back. And I know, I know I speak for every single person that was in your life. I know that there's not one thing anybody wouldn't do to get you back. You were that special, dude. You were that fucking special. It sucks that you're gone, because like, we need you here. But, you know, I know you're here, I know you're like present. And sometimes I can feel you. Like sometimes I can hear you. You know, I feel like you're, you're with me and you're keeping me safe and you're, you know, you're watching over me. So that gives me some comfort, but I just wanna say I miss you and you know, I love you. And, uh, I 
I don't even know how to end it. I don't even know how to end this fucking video. You're really special, man. You're really special, and uh, I can't wait to see you again.